This one's by Krebus. We're gonna check out 10 discontinued items in OSRS. You will never ever see again, guys. My name's Fan of. My main channel is Stretch because of some BS reacting to Brie Wilderness and he he just wants to like uh, automatically copyright strike uh people that want to uh, react to his videos if it's on live stream through YouTube. But let's check out this one. This one's called Ten Discontinued Items in OSRS. You will never see again, and let's see what this video is about. Throughout the years in old school runescape, there have been multiple items, locations, and NPCs that. Bro, you know what they should make? They just they should add in the games room, guys. They should add. They they should add every single random, like, every single like a holiday event that has ever been. In the game, they should add that to the games room, guys. That'd be cool. Or somewhere like Valador. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. That in one way or the other have been removed from the game. However, despite these relics being removed, their files were documented by Old School Runescape Wikidim and saved for historic purposes. Today, I want to show you these relics and find out how many interesting things there once was that don't exist anymore. And I promise you, some of these items are absolutely crazy. Like for instance, with the release of Tombs of a Masked Raid, there was supposed to come a helmet that you get after completing beneath. Okay, that's a pretty cool helmet. Looks like a serpentine helmet, but it's a cool helmet, right, guys? I, I think it's a cool helmet. It cursed Sans Quest. When the helmet was in your inventory, it looked identical to Verak's helmet, probably due to having no inventory model. How Oops. <laughs> exactly like. Man, they, they, they should have had it make, look like, make it look like the serpentine helmet. That'd be funny. Cause they look so similar guys however when you equip it <sighs> it showcased the actual model the hero's nice. helmet which was later named into the lion's helmet was initially supposed to be tradable item and the hold on guys let me uh take let me put make this in my thumbnail it's a cool thing here you put on screen guys one second all right yeah it's a cool thumbnail initially supposed to be tradable item and the assumption here is that you can either check your raid scores or it had a teleport option near necropolis that you can obtain after completing the quest it was put into the game a few months before raids 3 came out and just one week after it was removed forever not to be seen again wait so it's from toa but they removed it before raids 3 came out which is toa item number two the what League Tomato. This orange looking tomato was meant to be an item used by JGX moderators to test out the Twisted League. League Tomato it reminds me of a, a Rotten Potato or whatever it's called. League back in 2020. Rot had... Rotten Tomato. I forgot what... What's that? What's that item that JMod tool? Run potato, right? And multiple features like the debug option to fix bugs inside leaks game mode only. Later down the line, when leaks 2 and leaks 3 came out, JGX added extra features for those leaks specifically. This item is. Dang. <laughs> the reason he's alking his stuff here, guys, is because leaks are gonna get deleted from the game, so he just like farmed all these items for no reason, guys. I believe. I'm not sure if they had boosted XP drapes rates but they they sh they need they needed to bro they need to have boosted xp rates here on these items man uh like xp rates to get this stuff bro that's already a 99 prayer so it must be boosted xp because he's getting 1000 xp per elk but he got, all, he got all these items such as a Torva play Similar body the, from leagues. That's pretty cracked. Other Jagex moderator tools like the Rotten Egg, the can teleport you to any place. Imagine they had these items go over to the real game, which they can't. But then we have the Rotten Carrots. Hey, I like leagues. I like the idea of leagues. They should bring that back. It's like DMM. DMM and leagues should be in the game. Pretty fairly regularly, in my opinion. That can ban any player with a single click. Then we have the Rotten Strawberry that works specifically for bosses and locations. Then we have the Rotten Cabbage that was specifically used for. 
and a lot of rotten stuff, bro. They they they, they like making J mod items rotten stuff for sure, guys. I'm out of control, like you saw during Deadman tournaments. And finally, the most infamous rotten potato. Ah, oh, it's a potato. That allows Jagex moderators to do multitude of things like set stats, teleport, open banks anywhere, delete any item, see other players' inventory, and transform yourself into any NBC in the game. And it seems pretty cool, pretty cool, right guys? Seems like Jagex moderators might actually bring the league's tomato back this year as we're getting closer and closer to leagues four. I let's do let's get it, let's get it. I'm not even gonna play leagues. <laughs> but I'm glad you know the player base will be happy when this uh, leagues thing uh, uh, com comes comes through, you know what I mean? I guess we have to wait and see. By the way, if you made it this far into the video, consider mm. subscribing if you want to see more content like this. That way, it helps me know what my audience wants to see in my videos. Thank You'll do, brother? Is there... I don't think there's going to be a sponsor for this one, but there might be. Thank you very much. I love you know, it. Every, every RS YouTuber gets a sponsor. You all. Except fan of. Fan of does get one, guys. <laughs> I don't really make RS content great. Oh, wait. Blow me a kiss. Whoa, whoa. Nice. Okay, let's continue. Item number three is the Soul Talisman and Soul Diara. Funnily enough, these items have been in the game for almost 20 years, but it, what? it was always unobtainable because there wasn't any soul altar in the game. However, at all. However, in 2016, Arceus got a massive rework, and blood and soul altars were added into the game, but since you didn't need the Soul Talisman to enter... Oh, what? They left in the game, but they never... It made you not even need it. So it's gonna be like one of those games that are just in the game's files. Like how de developers leave like, you know, un unfinished models and like game cartridges and stuff. Just like that, I think. ...the altar anymore. These items were removed from the game forever. To this day, you can still use the soul altar without the talisman, so it's safe to say that the soul talisman will never make a return. Next one is actually not an item, but rather than a place that you can't access. However, it's still in the game. When you use the game's necklace to teleport to Burtop and you go downstairs to the castle, you get into the game's room. You soon start to notice that there are 8 rooms in the game's room that are completely inaccessible. They contain nothing but crates and barrels, but initially... <laughs> Such a weird spot in the game, man. Right, guys? Jagex wanted to add more games into the game's room, like warships, Whoa. chess, backgammon, and even... Oh, warships and this stuff is actually cool. Why didn't they do it, man? Games like Go and Slime Wars. The game's room was released... It's like mini clip inside RuneScape. 19 years ago, and unfortunately, these other games I mentioned were never added into it. Ooh, bro, that'd be so cool if they were added into the game, man. However, the rooms are still there to this day. Item number 5, Free to Play Starter Pack. Back in 2015, when Free to Play was released, another item called the Holiday Duel was mm. given to mm. live streamers, Excuse clan leaders, and few other players. To distribute Free to Play Starter Packs to new players, the Holiday Duel could only spawn around 200 Starter Packs per day, so it had a limit and the Starter Pack consisted of a lot of beginner items to get people started with- Hey, not bad. They should give every free to play user this stuff, but you know, want to know why? Because th these, this, this is like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 mana GP that you get from here is enough to be bottable. And <laughs> with their journey, the current GE value for the starter pack is a little bit less than 2k, and it was just a way to celebrate the start of free to play. As far as we know, and the information we have available to us, this item actually never left the game, so there might be a few accounts back from 2015 that still have this item in their bank and just don't know about it, which makes it basically one of the rarest items in the game. Item number 6. This is one of the rarest items in the game. Yeah, it sucks it's not tradable or it would be worth so much, guys. And, and wearable, like a party hat. If it's tradable, it's, it's worth a lot, but... If it's not wearable, it's kind of not worth that much. You know what I mean? Just for the same. You gotta show it off somehow. Unless you're just like, hey, trade me. I got the most valuable item. No one wants to go through that. The fact that I don't think anyone can obtain this ever. However, it's still in the game. Burnt Beta Bread. Bread. The reason why it's so rare is because you stop burning the Beta Bread at level 38 cooking. However, you can't actually cook the Beta until you get 58 cooking. Meaning... You can take. Yeah, I, I think there should be a 
bug abuser that finds a way how to get this out now. Technically, never burn it. Players have tried to use a multitude of different methods to gain access to this item, like using diseases to lower your cooking levels. But the biggest problem is that you need to use a cooking range to get the item, which makes it impossible to obtain. This was also confirmed by Mod Ash later down the line that indeed, yes, currently it's literally impossible to obtain this item. Item number. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try to uh, fix it. I'm not gonna try and do it myself. Seven. This time we're actually talking about NBCs, not items. Back in 2013, Jagex hosted the very first Christmas event, and during that event, you had to talk to three kids. Bro, do they got dudes in cages in that room? In that Christmas event? Yeah, bro, that's all bad, all bad. It's in Karamja and save them from a goblin. If the player had completed the event, they will continue to see those three kids in Karamja forever. However, if you never started the Christmas event, the kids never appeared for your character specifically. Making this the first and the only NPCs in Old School RuneScape that are discontinued. So, if you completed the 2013 Christmas event, you accidentally unlocked one of the rarest NPCs in Old School RuneScape. Goblinch. Item number 8. Guys, I have not seen that on any streamer stream or anything, man. I never did it. I never did the events until like 2022 man there was an item when, when we started doing events on stream them called fireworks which was an unobtainable potion released with snapdragon back in the day it was intended to be a cosmetic potion that created with snapdragons and the secondary ingredient was supposed to come from Primhaven agility arena that was released on the same exact day normal potions have one extra option which is empty this potion, however, had another option called light. So essentially, you needed to use a tinderbox to create fireworks. The potion, however, was scrapped for unknown reasons, but it is thought that the level of fireworks animation you currently see were initially used for this potion, and afterwards the animation was instead added to leveling up. Okay, we have two more items to go, and I say those two specifically for Okay, okay. Dang, we're this far in the video. I'm sorry. I lost, uh, uh, let me, let me just replay here, because I, I lost tra my train of thought here, guys. another option called, it was an unobtainable okay. potion released with Snapdragon back in the day. It was intended to be a cosmetic potion that created with Snapdragons, and the secondary ingredient was a fireworks potion, what the heck? Supposed to come from Primhaven Agility Arena, that was released on the same exact day. Normal potion, nah, bro have one extra option which is empty this potion however had another option called light so essentially you needed to use a tinderbox to create fireworks the po fireworks. potion however was scrapped for unknown reasons but it is no it is thought that the level of fireworks animation you currently see were initially used for this potion and afterwards is that level 99 i don't think it's level 99 how do you get the fireworks if he's at that place where max is Max, you can only get there when you're maxed everything, guys. So what the heck? The animation was instead added to leveling up. Okay, we have two more items to go, and I say those two specifically for last because they're my personal favorites. Firstly, there was a telekinetic crab tablet. Yes, it was in... What the heck? For what? And do you need a magic level requirement for this? Do you need a magic level requirement for this? Tended to be made just like any other tablet in your player owned house, and it was a tradable item. It was intended to be used as if this was in the game. The bots would come up with a, such a like a, a pretty a pretty uh like a good good way to bot this, right? As telekinetic crab spell without requiring the use of normal spellbook, but supposedly it was too overpowered, and Jagex decided to remove it from the game forever. And they would come up with such a creative way to bot with the, the teleport tab, man. Last but not least, we have my personal favorite discontinued item, which are the League's Trophies. As someone who is proud owner of two Dragon Trophies, these are considered one of the rarest and ultimately best discontinued items in old school. Okay, yeah, that one is because it's wearable. Escape. No bias. You could only obtain this during the leagues and specifically the Dragon Trophy was for players who were top 1% of players during leagues. Despite there being millions of old school Rundske players throughout the years, it is currently estimated that less than 5,742 players currently own any version of Dragon Trophy.
Not bad, not bad. Sucks it's not tradable though. Imagine if it was. These might, might be looking at 100 mil a piece or more. Trophy. These trophies are mostly for cosmetics. They should have made it tradable, guys. Medic purposes. The only thing they have is a nifty animation, and ultimately, it's there to just flex that you have no life. However, <laughs> but currently there are a total of 21 trophies for 3 leagues, meaning each league had 7 trophies in total. Yeah, but he's got the highest rank one here, guys. So, ranging from bronze to oh, there's 3 different kinds. Dragon, making all 21 items discontinued. Do, but does he have all 3 uh, trophies here? I don't think he does, guys. But he has one. Ever. Well, this was it. Let me know if I missed any important items that you know about. A very cool video. Check out Krebus in the description. See you guys next video. I'm not going to play the full video. There's only 20 seconds left. He's just saying goodbye and stuff. So. Goodbye as well, guys. We will beat this copyright strike that we got for watching a freaking Brave Wilderness video, guys. I did not know that you if you get a copyright strike for doing that like it does not like uh, you know give you a way to counterclaim it so see you guys next video peace out everyone thank you for watching and mm, much appreciated guys much appreciated you guys are the best